In this video we are going to talk about top 5 wonderful and weird sea creatures ever seen. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Number 5. Red-Lipped Batfish. It is found off the shore of the Galapagos Islands, and it is a strange tiny fish. It is for this reason that they are also referred to as the Galapagos Batfish. Because their mouths are ringed with what appears to be crimson lipstick, they have earned the nickname Red Lipstick. Their shape gives them the appearance of an animal in flight, which is why the bat was used as an example. They are not the best swimmers in the ocean because of this. In fact, they have been observed scurrying around on the ocean's bottom in a clumsy manner. Their elysium, which is often found on anglerfish, is used to entice and lure prey into the mouth of the fish. Other little fish as well as crustaceans are the most common prey for this species. Predators are deterred from approaching them because they are coated in what appears to be thorns. They reach a total height of somewhat more than 9 inches. In terms of where they live, they can be found anywhere between 10 feet and 249 feet below the surface of the water. Because of the scurrying motion that they make, as previously described, you could be forgiven for assuming that they are some sort of crab-like creature. However, it is not their legs or claws that assist them in their scurrying, but rather their anal, pectoral, and pelvic fins. Number 4. Vampire Squid. Vampire Squid which is also called as Vampire Squid from Hell, the species is found in the oceans of the world. It isn't enough for you to be afraid for the rest of your life, because the squid's appearance is evocative of something from a horror film. You must be terrified for the rest of your life. Although this is the case, it is nevertheless an awe-inspiring creature in every sense of the word. Interestingly, this squid's narrative is similar to that of the octopus we just examined in that this creature has adapted and evolved over time in order to survive in the depths of the water where it resides. According to some scientists, the vampire squid may be found at depths ranging from 2,000 feet to 3,000 feet, with some saying that it can be found much further below. Even while it has a similar name to other sea creatures, it is not one of them and instead belongs to a different group of organisms known as the octopus. Living at such depths has compelled them to evolve adaptations that allow them to survive with very little oxygen and in complete darkness as a result of their environment. The task of tracking down prey is difficult enough as it is. These squids in contrast to other squids and octopi, do not have feeding tentacles, which distinguishes them from the rest of the species. As a result, they have two filaments, each of which is coated with fine hairs, which allows them to seek prey on which to feed on their second filament. Despite their moniker, when it comes to eating, they take prey that is not what you might think given the nature of their habitat. They have no actual taste for blood, preferring instead to devour much smaller organisms such as zooplankton, which are much easier to catch and digest. They do have their own predators, as evidenced by their discovery in the stomachs of whales, enormous deepwater fish, and even sea lions who dive to tremendous depths. However, they are not the only ones. Number 3. Maris Orthocana. This strange and amazing creature has the appearance of a rocket, but it is actually a deep marine organism from the Arctic Ocean. A type of jellyfish is what it is in more particular terms. The length of the jellyfish's swimming end is around 3.9 inches at its longest point. The colony's length, on the other hand, can surpass 6 feet. It has been detected at depths ranging between 660 and 2,620 feet, with the deepest known location being 6,600 feet deep. Because of the depths to which they have descended, they receive almost little natural light, making it extremely difficult for them to see anything. It is as a result of this that there has not been much research done on them in the past. They may consume krill, decapods, and other crustaceans as part of their diet, according to certain theories. They capture them in their colony and entangle them with their tentacles, which they extend to round their prey. They are frequently compared to human fishing lines because of their tentacle shape and function. Even though images of them taken from underwater craft have revealed that, because to their orange hue and smoke-like tentacles, they resemble a rocket in flight, they are still a mystery to scientists. Number 2. Nudibranch. In addition to its more glamorous name, the nudibranch is also known by another, far less glamorous name. 
These little critters are known as sea slugs, which is another name for them. But they are a million miles away from the slugs up here on dry land, where they belong. They are a sort of invertebrate, and they are a category that includes approximately 2,000 distinct species in total, according to current estimates. They have psychedelic hues and some interesting facts to go along with them. The majority of members of the nudibranch family are hermaphrodites, which means they contain both male and female reproductive organs. Even while they can be found in oceans around the world, it is more likely to discover them in shallow, tropical areas. They are available in sizes ranging from 0.25 inches to 12 inches, resulting in a large array of options to choose from. They are mollusks, but without their shells, and they eat a wide array of foods, ranging from coral and anemones to algae and sponges, among other things. It has even been reported that they prey on other nudibranch species. They are impervious to the poisons of their prey, and they can even retain the poisons of the creatures they eat, which they can utilize against other prey and predators later on in their lives. Number 1. Peacock Mantis Shrimp The first sea species to appear on our list is the vibrant peacock mantis shrimp, which is named by the color of its shell. This shrimp is well known for its ability to pack a powerful punch in a little package. It is the heavyweight champion of the marine world, which is particularly astounding when one considers how delicately crafted its body appears to be. They punch their victim and other peacock mantis shrimps in the face with their front appendages, which they use to defend themselves. They also use them to crack open the shells of other shellfish, so that they can devour the contents. The shrimp in question is actually a carnivorous crustacean, not a shrimp at all. The name comes from the fact that their front appendages mimic those of a mantis. They can, however, be obtained in sizes ranging from roughly 12 inches to as large as 24 inches. The largest recorded was 15 inches in circumference. We consider such sizes to be quite astounding for a crab with such a terrible reputation. Isn't it true that small is mighty? It is possible to find them in shallow tropical or subtropical seas, primarily in the Indian Ocean or the Pacific Ocean, but they are not common. They prey on smaller crustaceans such as mollusks and crabs, creeping up on them and delivering that devastating heavyweight blow we've already talked about earlier. It is said that their punch may reach speeds of up to 170 miles per hour, making them the fastest organism on the face of the planet. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.